Today I'm going to show you some tips on getting rid of those squash bugs. Uh, we have them horribly, as I'm sure many of you do, and so this is what I do to try to get rid of them and try to stay on top of them. This is a combination of what I used last year and I've used in the past. This is just a sprayer with soapy water. I put soapy water in this and I pick off the big ones. This is for the babies that have hatched. I usually um, either take the leaf off or scrape off the eggs that I find, but this year I am gonna try some tape. Uh, I've seen it where they use duct tape. I don't have any of that right at this moment, so I am gonna try this masking tape and see if it works. If not, I might have to go in and get some packing tape. So while squash bugs don't only get on squashes, this is actually one of my pumpkins and I happened to see the leaf like this last night and I was like, hmm. So I looked at some of them and if you look right here, I don't know if you can see that, but that is a baby squash bug. Look at all those, yeah. So I have to get rid of those. And that is one thing that the spray is good for. It actually coats them and I guess it suffocates them. I'm not really sure, but that works. Um, I came out last night and I had eggs and I had tiny, tiny bugs on them, squash bugs, but I couldn't do anything about them at that time. So I've got to come back out here, but there was like eggs on the leaves, there's eggs on the stem, and they're just everywhere. So definitely got to get that taken care of. Unfortunately, it is a little warmer this morning than it was yesterday. Uh, yesterday's weather would have been good for this, but I have to get this done this morning before the grandbaby gets here and um, try to save all my plants. All right, so I'm gonna spray those. One of the things that this will do as well is if there are any squash bugs like down here on the bottom, when you water, if you water the base of your plant, the adult ones usually hang out at the base and uh, you will see them and they'll start climbing and you can pick those off. So you wanna check under all the leaves because now you can see that I had some just hatch out and it looks like I have some more eggs here. So we're gonna try the tape. We might even, well, we're gonna spray these. So these eggs will hatch anywhere from five to 10 days. You really have to be checking these. I missed these for sure. All right, let's try this. So there's these eggs. And it does, it pulls them right off. That's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> pull some of these little, little guys off of here too because then I know I've got them. So now you can see them, they're kind of stuck to the tape as well. Okay, so that works pretty good. So my tip with the tape, if you're gonna spray, would uh, definitely be to do the tape first and not spray because then your leaves are gonna be wet and so I'm probably gonna run into that a little bit because I'd sprayed first. But I mean, look at this. Look at these eggs. See all those? Yeah, that'll just like decimate my poor plants. So I really like the tape method so far. Here you can see they've even laid these on the stem. So I'm gonna take my tape and get these off of here as well. So this one is even worse. <laughs> so I will probably spray this after. This is why you really have to keep a close eye. I thought I was doing a really good job and I missed a few days and this is what happens. And then of course you have the chicken that comes into the garden and helps themselves to the squash that's ripe. All right, I think I'm done. I think I got all the plants and I have found some interesting things out. So I'm gonna show you those really quickly. So I have these pumpkins out here by themselves, mostly, those down there as well. And there were squash bugs on them. So these over here have squash bugs. I believe they also have the vine borer. So these probably won't really produce a whole lot. There are, that one's already looking pretty bad. I have one tucked in in here and it looks super healthy. Uh, it does not seem to have any vine borers in it. All the flowers, you can see it has lots of flowers on it. The leaves look really healthy, but it is intermingled with peppers and flowers and dill kind of hidden in there. I have my Trombocini, Trombocini, I'm not really sure how you say that. Um, now these are not resistant to squash bugs. I did pick them off, but I started whenever I planted them when they got very big and 
I picked all the adults off and so I seem to have less trouble now this one's huge I'm having some blossom in rot that I hopefully have fixed but uh, we'll see about those then I have a couple of squash over here with the asparagus now the squash bugs did find these but they are looking good and I have gotten some zucchini off of them so that's awesome and then I have all of these down here these are spaghetti squash they seem okay so far acorn squash seems okay so far as well the loofahs over here seem okay which is funny because so I didn't think this thing was vining until I got looking closer and I had to pull this out from behind the pallet it was going behind the pallet not going up the provided trellis making its own I guess this one over here is the one I transplanted so hopefully this one will be okay I think I just shocked it. It seems like it's still alive, but <laughs> it got quite the shock. So I just have to keep it really good and watered. All right, squash bug removal prevention. Uh, so we've got checking them as soon as they come up to get the adults off of them. Uh, I put them in soapy water. You can squish them, whatever you would like. I make a soapy water spray and I spray on the undersides of my leaves whenever I see that if I've missed some of the eggs and they've hatched it will take care of those little bitty squash bugs uh, tape is my new friend so I really like this method tape to take the eggs off if you just have you know if you have a leaf that has really just a ton on it sometimes I will just clip that leaf off if it has plenty uh, it is easier the smaller they are so if you start when they're smaller it's much better because once they get bigger they get a ton of leaves they um, can put them on the stems and all that good stuff. The other tip would be to not wear short sleeves if you do have big plants like those zucchinis uh, because they do have little hairs, almost thorny hairs on them to protect them, I'm assuming. And I don't know if you have sensitive skin like I do, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have, I'm itchy and so maybe a light long sleeve shirt or maybe not when it's you know like I'm early morning right now so a light long sleeve shirt probably would have been fine uh, probably not do this in the dead of the heat because uh, it can be kind of labor well maybe not labor intensive but it can take a little while depending on how many plants you have now I am gonna walk out I have a patch of um, pumpkin and watermelon out under the caterpillar tunnel so I do need to go check those really quickly because I have a lot out there and I don't want anything on those. But interplanting, I found, is probably the way to go. Kind of space them out. Don't plant them all together because squash bugs will just multiply and they'll just, you know, go everywhere. So I hope these tips were helpful. I hope you enjoyed them. Be sure to share any that you might have or what you think is working for you. And uh, please like and subscribe and don't forget to be lovely lights today.